Well, the story of a music icon is coming to life at the Buell Theater. Tina, the Tina Turner musical will open next Wednesday. Dylan Thomas recently traveled to Washington State for a behind the scenes look, and he quickly learned why audiences <laughs> can help but dance during the show. River deep, mountain high. We traveled here to Spokane, Washington to get an advanced preview of Tina, the Tina Turner musical, before it heads east to the Buell. Like a true Tina Turner concert. The audience is so important, and there's nothing like hearing that roar yeah. at the top of the show. When that curtain comes mm -hmm. up, and they see the legs, and then they see the wig, and it's like, wow! It's just, it's, it's everything that we've worked for. Tina, the Tina Turner musical, stays true to the icon she was. And like a concert, the audience plays just as big a role in parts of the show as the cast. The audience is the last ingredient. They're the other character in the show. This musical starts and ends at what seems like a real life Tina Turner concert. And many in the audience come ready to be immersed. And the people with the wigs, the yep. Tina Turner wigs, mm -hmm. and the... Uh, dress the leather dress and mm -hmm. the jean coat and they come and they go all out. You know, yeah. they come ready for a party. They mm -hmm. come ready for an experience. While the show does touch on many serious, even heavy topics, it still promises to make one want to get up and dance. These songs mean something to people. It is a nostalgic nostalgia. I, I see in the audience um, which person responds to which song and, you know, they can think of the memory of where they were when they heard the song. After the job. And while the cast, especially those portraying Tina, are dancing and singing on stage nearly nonstop throughout the show, they say it's the audience that gives them the fuel. A performer's heart is that connection with the audience. The best part is just seeing the audience enjoying what we're doing, everyone in the cast. We love what we're doing. We're here for a reason. And it's just seeing the audience having fun, going on big wheel cables, standing on dancing with us. There's no better feeling when you know that we're giving the audience exactly what they came for. Truly. Um, we're honoring a legend. Because it has so much energy, lights, and the crowd, and the costumes, and it's so colorful, and you just enjoy it. Tina, the Tina Turner musical, will be rolling on the river to Colorado October 18th through the 29th, playing at the Buell. For more information on tickets, visit our website, cbscolorado.com. In Spokane, Washington, I'm Dylan Thomas. Karen, I absolutely want to see that one. That one looks amazing. I know. It absolutely amazing. Great, it? Yeah, and I'm surprised Dylan didn't bust out his dance moves for this one. But, I know, for yeah. sure. <laughs> well, we were just talking a second ago. We yes. do have some breaking news that we want to pass along. We know that the jury has reached a verdict in Elijah McClain, the first trial of many. Yes. Um, this one involves those two officers, the People vs. Rosenblatt and Rodima. The jury has reached a verdict. We're told they should provide us with their decision here in about 30 minutes. Yeah. Our Rick Salinger, Karen Morphy, yeah. of course, covering of this case for us. Mm -hmm. Covering this for days now. So we'll be sure to bring you updates as soon as we have them. We'll be right back.